Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of representing additive and multiplicative relationships. This is standard 6.6c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 13 off the 2022 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So, which graph best represents the relationship between x and y? And there we go. So y equals 3.5x. Well, this is a multiplicative relationship because if you don't have any operation between a number and a variable, it is always assumed that you are going to multiply. So even though it is in this case an x, it could be 3.5z, it could be 3.5q, doesn't really matter. If you get a number right next to a variable and there's no operation signified, it's always going to be multiplying. So we have a multiplicative relationship here, and all we have are some graphs. So the easiest way to do it is let's just plug in some numbers. Let's generate our own x and y coordinates. And you should always start with the simplest ones, right? So I'm going to just make a little table here. An x. And here's my y. And our equation here is y equals 3.5x. All right, so x is our independent variable. We start with that. Start with 0. Right, so y equals 3.5 times 0. Okay, so y equals 0. So that's important because that means one of the coordinates is 0, 0. This is the origin. And we can automatically get rid of two of our graphs because we don't have uh, the 0, 0. So I'm going to get rid of B because this doesn't even have any type of slope right here. It's just a straight line across and this starts up way too high. So uh, that has a, a y-intercept of 3.5 and this is this is what we would call in later grades direct variation where it goes through the origin, it's proportional. And so it's either going to be A or D. All right, so let's, let's just choose X's, and there's no need to make them super difficult. Let's just choose like 1 and 2. If we need to go on, we can. Uh, so Y equals 3.5X. So I'm going to make my X1 now. That is going to be my independent variable. So y is my dependent variable. y equals 3.5. Okay, that makes sense. So I have a coordinate of 1 and 3.5. 1, 3.5. Yeah. It looks like it right there. 1, 3.5. What do we have here? We've got one, oh, this is like, this is a half right here. So this is like um, maybe one zero point, call it zero point three. Looks like a little bit more than a quarter. Okay, so that's not very good. That's kind of the opposite. Let's just do two, verify, but I'm thinking it's A. Y equals 3.5X. Let's change our x into 2. So 3.5 times 2, double it is 7. So 2, 7, which means, wow, we are off the charts, but that makes sense because, look, at we're, here's my 2. We're not even to the 2, whereas this 2 is like at 0 0.5 or 0 0.55, 0 0.6. Yeah, that is incorrect. So... By plugging in just 0, 1, and 2, well, we can easily see that our answer here is going to be A.